Hey guys, how's it going? Now, one of the biggest issues inside Windows is in the audio segment. Now, chances are that you might have the best hardware out there, but you still might not be getting the best audio output. And with Windows 11, Microsoft has changed a lot of settings that might have helped you previously to fix your audio problems, but don't really exist anymore inside Windows 11. Well, if you've been facing a lot of issues, this video is for you. This is one from Guiding Tech, and in today's video, I'll be talking about seven of the most simple and the easiest fixes in which you can get the maximum audio output from your sound devices. Let's get started. Alright, so before I begin, let me just clear something first. Initially, I'll be talking about some third-party tools that you can use to get the maximum audio output. Now, these tools will definitely offer a bigger and a more louder audio output. So that's good. But the problem is that forcing your audio hardware to a certain limit, like beyond the defined limit, can be a little risky. I mean, it can impact your device's hardware. If you're okay with that, cool. If you're not okay with that, Make sure to watch the video till the very end because I have some more tips and tricks inside Windows 11 itself that are, well, safe to use and would still offer a better audio experience than you already have. All right, so first things first, one of the most easiest ways to get the maximum audio output or basically boost your volume is to use an app that offers an inbuilt volume booster. So if you're someone who watches video files offline on your PC, just install VLC Media Player from the link down below. Using VLC, you can enhance your volume level up to 200%. Alternatively, if you watch videos online, be it on YouTube or Netflix, you can use the volume booster extension for Chrome. Installing it is super easy. Just download the extension from the link down below in the description box and add it to your browser. Now, whenever you're playing a video, just click on the volume booster extension and drag the volume slider to boost the volume. Now, the developer claims that you can boost it by up to a thousand percent, but I wouldn't really recommend that high of a level. But sure, it will definitely offer a higher audio output. Well, now, while both the previous software methods should work for you, they're restricted to certain use cases. I mean, only if you're using it to watch videos. What if you're trying to play a game on your laptop and the audio output feels a little lackluster and you just want to enhance it? In that kind of a scenario, you need a system-wide audio enhancer. My recommendation is Equalizer APO. For that, download the Equalizer APO app from the link down below. Now make sure to download the 1.1.1 version and not the latest one, because the latest one has some issues with Windows 11 and the last stable version that was working with Windows 11 is well, the version that I provided down there. Once you've downloaded it, install it. And once the installation is done, you'll be prompted with a configuration window asking you to choose the device that you need to boost. You can use it to boost your speakers, headphones, and much more. But for now, let's just choose speakers, which is the default output device, and then click OK. Finally, reboot your device. Once done, head over to this path and open editor.exe. Now you can change the gain for your speaker setup. I would suggest starting small with something like plus five decibel and then experimenting your way through it. What's more is that you can use this tool as an equalizer as well to set custom sound profiles too, considering Microsoft has removed the EQ option in the latest version of Windows 10 and 11. So those were the third party methods that you can use to boost your audio devices. But like I said, in the long run, this can be harmful for your hardware. A safer alternative would be using the settings inside Windows 11. First up, open up Windows settings by pressing the Windows plus I keys. Now, navigate to sound settings. Click on the output device that you're using and this will open the properties for it. Now, scroll down and enable the toggle next to Enhance Audio. Hopefully, your audio is now enhanced, as the name suggests. Another thing that you can do is make use of Spatial Audio. To do that, head back to the sound settings and then once again open the properties for the output device by clicking on it. Now, scroll down. Under the Spatial Sound section, select the type of immersive sound experience you want. Now, for most users, you should get Windows Sonic for headphones. However, you can also click on the Get More Spatial Sound apps from Microsoft Store option to download other types. Now, my favorite one in that aspect is Dolby Atmos. Now, some of the new laptop manufacturers actually provide Dolby Atmos as a feature. So, chances are you'll get it in the drop-down menu below Windows Sonic. If not, like I said, you can download it from the Microsoft Store, but in that kind of a scenario, it will be a paid feature, so keep that in mind. Now, another thing that you can do is set different volumes for different media types. I mean, chances are if you're using multiple apps at the same time, you would want to enhance one app's volume while reducing the other ones. Now, set individual volumes, just right click on the volume icon and select Open Volume Mixer. 
which you now see a list of all the apps and you can manually adjust their volume levels easily over there. Finally, the last thing that you can do is to update your sound drivers. Now, I know this sounds like a very simple thing to do, but here's the thing. Chances are that you updated your system from Windows 10 to Windows 11, but your device manufacturer took its time. So probably you just updated to a new version of Windows, but your device drivers were still on the older version, which resulted in a lower overall audio output. Hopefully your device manufacturer has now rolled out new updated version of the drivers for Windows 11 and that should easily fix all of your issues for you. To update your sound card drivers, press the Windows plus X key and click on device manager. Now double click on audio inputs and outputs to expand it. Right click on it and select update driver. Just follow the on-screen instructions where Windows will automatically find the latest driver for you. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by pressing the thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.